So I don't need to tell you, us women, we juggle a lot. We are moms, daughters, sisters, and friends. And with all we have going on, it can be easy to tense up. Author Nicola Jane Hobbs made this observation. She said, growing up, I never knew a relaxed woman. Successful women, yes. Productive women, plenty. Anxious and afraid and apologetic women, heaps of them. But relaxed women, at ease women, women who aren't afraid to take up space in the world, I'm not sure, she concluded, I've ever met a woman like that, but I would like us all to become one. My next guest would also like us all to become more at ease women. Dr. Allison Mangrum will share four ways you can feel more calm and clarity today. It's always great to have you and your presence and your energy. Thank you. This quote really resonated with me and I know it did with you yeah. as well. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think we can all see ourselves in that quote a little bit, right? Maybe a lot. We, we strive, we want to be an at ease woman, but we often find ourselves being anything but. And I can remember when this concept really started to come to me years ago when I was in grad school. Like many of us, we're trying to juggle so many things mm -hmm. and every minute of my life was structured and planned. Mm -hmm. And I kept telling myself, oh, well, as soon as I graduate, then mm -hmm. I'll relax. Mm -hmm. Then things will be different, right? As soon as I graduate and I have this piece of paper that says doctor of physical therapy, then I'll feel like I'm enough. And quickly after graduating, I realized I don't feel any different. And that's when I started to recognize, you know what, no piece of paper, no perfect dress size, no amount in my bank account, no perfectly decorated house is what makes us feel enough inside. No stage of life. No I stage mean, of life. We're always looking we're ahead. We're always looking ahead. Yeah. And it has to be done now, mm -hmm. and it has to be that inner work. Mm -hmm. If mm -hmm. we wanna be at ease in life, we have to stop looking at the external, mm -hmm. and we have to turn our attention inward. As I was thinking about this topic and this conversation with you, I was thinking, who is an at-ease woman? And I, I, yeah. I can run through a few in my head yeah. who are in my circle in my life. Funny enough, it seems we recognize them most when we are running at the opposite. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. when I'm coming in, yes. there's a certain woman I always run into at the grocery store. I adore her. I look up to her. I'm usually careening the corner like Corilla DeVille yeah. as she's walking down in her pleated pressed jeans, slowly, yeah. calmly putting items in her cart. It seems like the difference or the dissonance between the two is when it kind of gets our attention like, hey, I could slow it down. Yeah. I could be more like that. I would enjoy being that in my life, yeah. you know? And I think we have to make it a priority. You know, so many of us fall under the misconception that I'm gonna feel at peace or content when things slow down. Mm -hmm. But we have to find peace to have things slow down. We have to prioritize mm. it. Mm. And so, you know, when I'm working one-on-one -on -one with people, I always have them take out their calendar and I say, okay, let's look at your schedule. When are you going to schedule in rest, play, things that just bring you pleasure just because they bring you joy? And you have to prioritize that like everything else. Because if you're waiting for your to-do list to be done, if you're waiting for all those things to not have to be on your plate in order to prioritize yourself, mm -hmm. you're never going to get there. You say an at-ease woman also is willing to let go of rules. Mm, yes. Talk to me about that. Yes. We all have our own set of rules. We all have our little box that we put ourselves in. You know, these are the things I'm supposed to do. This is who I'm supposed to be. The things that we tell ourselves that we can't do or we have to do. And whenever we're playing those rules up in our head, it's going to cause us to feel more stress, more anxious. It's going to cause us to be driven by something of an external value mm -hmm. instead of something internal. Mm -hmm. And so what I want you to do is I want you to take out a piece of paper and I want you to write down on that piece of paper all the rules you have for yourself. Okay. All the things you tell yourself you have to do or you're supposed to be. And then I want you to look at that list and anything that is holding you back from being at ease, comfortable with yourself, anything that's limiting you, mm -hmm. it's time to let that go. Mm. Cross it off the list. Cross it off the list. There's no better time than now. I mean, I think so often we think, okay, later I'll work on this stuff. But it really comes down to a choice to say, I'm not going to allow myself to play by those rules anymore because they aren't serving me. Is it realistic, Allison, to, to live like this all the time? Is it really realistic to think I can be this at-ease woman as we all take a breath and settle into that, that right. label or that term yeah. around I, the clock? You know, I don't think any of us are gonna be anything all the time. Uh -huh. But can that be our most common? Can mm -hmm. that be our default? Mm -hmm. Can we recognize you know, that moment when we're rushing and we're frantic and we're thinking, oh, I don't have enough time and we're playing up all those silly beliefs in our head. Mm -hmm. Can we stop ourselves and say, okay, I'm gonna reset. 
that's the key. Yeah. You know, we're never going to hit one thing and then be it forever. Yeah. You know, no amount of growth is going to get us there. Yeah. But can we recognize when we're out of it and learn to return a little quicker? I adopted a phrase many years ago, as you might imagine, a television studio is a very rushed yeah. and hurried yeah. place to live and to work. And, and yet I'm here wanting to connect with people yeah. eyeball to eyeball. And many years ago, I embraced this phrase, the clock clicks the same. Meaning yeah. we somehow think that if we move yeah. faster, things yeah. will go faster. And that's they, not true. Yeah. The clock clicks the same, whether yeah. internally I'm in a rush or internally I'm calm. Yes. And it is hard to get to that place sometimes. It is. But I think when we have those little reminders and we can notice when we're out of it, then it's easier to return to it. You want us to take up space. What does that look like? You know, I love Brene Brown, which all of us do. She mm -hmm. has a quote that I love that says, you don't need to puff up and you don't need to shrink back. You just need to know how to hold your sacred ground. Mm. And I think to me, that's what learning how to hold space, your own space is. You know, no two women are going to be the same and you're not supposed to be anything other than what you are. When you let go of your rules, when you prioritize rest, when you prioritize things that bring you pleasure, mm -hmm. it's easier for you to just to take up your own space. And that's going to make you feel way more comfortable and way more at ease than trying to be something you're not. I love that visual. I do. And finally, in our last 30 seconds together, you want women to remember we can be both. What do you mean by that? Yes. I think one of the biggest pushbacks I get is they say, well, I can't be relaxed and at ease because then who's going to get X, Y, and Z done, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. Like who's going to do this? Like, or if I pull back, I'm not going to succeed at the goals that I have. Mm -hmm. We think it's an if or, mm -hmm. and it's really an and. When we prioritize ourselves, our rest, our pleasure, when we let go of our rules, when we hold our own space, we can be successful and calm. We can be kind and at peace. We can be efficient. Yes. And also And settled. relaxed. Yeah. 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 I love this. I love this challenge. I love this goal, like you said, yes. to have the at ease woman mentality be our de default. Yes. Yes. All right. Thank you so much. Oh, Where can we get you. more from you? So I teach a workshop that you can find out more information about talking about this stuff, so many other things on meditatewithally.com. Okay. We'll meet you there. Thank Wonderful. you again.